Hi, this is Emma from SSL Trust's official YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install an SSL certificate on your application in Heroku. So let's get started. So this is the main Heroku dashboard and as you can see I have created an application here called SSL Guides which is our project and as you can see this is the sample web page that we are hosting on our server and it is not yet secure and we're going to make sure it is so let's close this up for now so the first step in this process is to generate a private key and a csr or a certificate sign -in request so we're going to go in the ssl trust home page scroll down and then navigate to CSR and key generator under tools and services. So you can click on that. Or alternatively, you can search for SSL Trust CSR generator on Google and arrive at this page. So basically, a CSR or a certificate signing request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority which contains all the necessary information such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So I'm going to fill in these details real quick. Type in your domain name without the www. Type in the name of your organization type in the organization unit such as IT your serial town your state or province choose your country type in your email address and Rootland we're going to go with 2048 bit which is the industry standard and then click on generate CSR so you'll be able to see your private key and your CSR right here. Now it is recommended that you store this in a safe location such as a text file on your computer so as to be able to do multiple configurations in case there is a hiccup in the process. But since this is a demo video I am going to keep this window open. Okay so the next step in this process is to purchase and configure our SSL certificate and for that we're going to head over to SSL Trust. Okay, so I'm here on the SSL Trust homepage and if you scroll down, you'll see that SSL Trust has established partnerships with all the leading SSL certificate authorities and we have SSL certificates for just about all of your SSL needs whether you want to secure a standard single domain website with a standard SSL or you want to show higher security and authenticity with a business SSL or you want enterprise grade security with the green address bar and supported browsers with the premium extended validation EVSSL certificate and wildcard SSL certificates to secure unlimited subdomains and one SSL certificate and then the multi-domain SSL certificates which are used to secure multiple domains under one SSL certificate so if you're not sure which SSL certificate is the best for you and your business, you can always contact our sales team at SSL Trust and they'll be happy to help you out. So since this is a demo video, I'm going to go with the standard SSL certificate. Let's go with Commodore Positive SSL. Choose your duration. And then click on Buy Now. Click on check out. Fill in these details real quick. Choose your preferred method of payment. And then click on complete order. Once you do that, you can head over to the SSL Trust dashboard and select your purchased product or service. And now we can finally start certificate configuration. Or alternatively, you can provide this URL to the person doing the configuration for you. Click on start 
now we're going to head over to our CSR window or ideally a text file and copy and copy this from the very start the very start to the very end including all the dashes and paste it right here click on verify CSR and if these details look good then we can proceed further and if these details look good then we can move on with this process server type we're going to select nginx since apache since heroku has provisions for both apache or nginx so choose whatever you're using and then click on next step get in your details real quick type in your email address And then if you have a technical contact doing this for you, please mention their details here. Otherwise use admin contact. Click on next step. So now comes an important part of the process, which is domain control validation. So basically in this check, you're going to have to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is Sectigo, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it. And you can do it in one of three methods, namely, the email method in which you're going to be sent an email address on one of these five email addresses which should contain a link which when you click on should validate the ownership of your domain name and you should get your certificate issued the second method is the http file method now in this method you're going to need to create a text file with this exact name and in that text file you're going to need to paste in these contents and furthermore you have to create these directories or subdirectories if they are not already there and then click on check file to make sure that this information is available via your server on the internet and domain control validation should be complete for you the third or the method that we're going to use is the CNAME record validation method so basically you need to have access to your DNS settings with either your domain name provider or your hosting provider, depending on where you've pointed your name service to. Okay, so I'm here at my DNS settings. And then we're going to quickly click on add new record. Type is going to be CNAME. Copy the CNAME record value. Paste it right here. Do the same for the pointing to box. Copy the same value, paste it right here, and then click on save. So once you do that, click on the check DNS record button right here, and then click on search. Now this process of DNS propagation of your record takes a while from five minutes up to a few hours, depending on your DNS service propagation speed so just keep coming back here and click on refresh every 20 seconds to check that your record is your record has propagated we all service in the meanwhile we can submit our ssl configuration and as you can see our configuration was a success this is our order number and our status is that we are waiting validation click here to access the validation manager and what you're going to do is just keep hitting the refresh on DNS checker and then keep coming back here to the validation manager. Scroll down, choose your method of validation, and just click on submit or recheck to refresh things on Sectigo's end. Now, if you're not able to find the validation manager, you can always head back to the SSL Trust dashboard. Select your product or service, and then access the validation manager from here. Okay, so we're done with domain control validation. And it looks like our certificate has been issued. So come back to the dashboard and you can collect your download your certificate from here. 
Okay, so now that we have all our, of our certificate files, we can now proceed to the installation of these on our server on Heroku. So I'm going to navigate to Heroku real quick. This is the project dashboard. And then you're going to navigate to settings. Scroll down and find the SSL certificates option. Click on configure SSL. Manual certificate. Display name is going to be anything. So guides. Main set. And copy and paste your certificate right here. So what we're going to do is copy the SSL certificate to our clipboard. Then paste it right here. Then what we're going to do is press enter. And then you're going to copy the intermediate certificate to clipboard and paste it right here just after the main certificate forming a chain of total of two SSL certificates which are combined and now we are going to copy and paste our private key from either your computer or your from a text file but since this, this is a demo video I'm doing it from this window right. copy and then paste it right here so now we have pasted a chain of both of our SSL certificates in the public certificate dialog box and we have pasted our private key and then click on next choose the app domain that you're configuring this for click next and our SSL certificate is now set up. Let's click on finish. So let's check the installation of our SSL certificate. Okay, so now I'm gonna navigate to https colon double slash your domain name dot com. And as you can see, we have successfully installed our SSL certificate on our application in Heroku. So this is how easy it was to install an SSL certificate in Heroku. I hope you were easily able to follow my instructions. And if not, there is a written guide in the very description of this video that you can refer to for more clarity. Now, if you've liked this video, please give us a like. If you have any questions, please put a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.